what's going on behind the thrillers we are checking out Universal's new mobile app for Android the first thing you can do is start by downloading it in the Android market you can find it by searching Universal Orlando or I just clicked the link directly from our article on BehindTheThrills.com and we're going to install it and now we're just waiting for it to finish installing you can see it installing right here and now we're going to open it up and this is the home screen you'll see every time you open the app The first thing you want to do is you want to sign up for a Geodelic account. Uh, I already have one, so I'm just going to log in right quick. Give me just a moment. It's free and easy to sign up for, so that's definitely a plus. Okay, I'm all signed in and you can share through Facebook and Twitter you just have to go and enable it it's also easy let me log into my Facebook and while I'm at it I'm also going to log into Twitter that way we can share stuff alright and now as you can see we're sharing through Facebook and Twitter we're going to go to the guides home. We have Islands of Adventure, Universal Studios, Florida, and City Walk. We'll start with Islands of Adventure. This is the splash screen that comes up whenever you open it. You can choose not to show this again, but for purposes of the video, we're going to show it again. Um, the app features are carousel navigation, attraction navig or information, interactive maps, GPS location, guest services, dining information and reservations, check in to Facebook and Twitter and a search tool. We're going to continue. Now this is the carousel map. It tells you exactly how far you are away from what you're looking at. Um, I'm kind of far away from the park so we're going to try checking in this stuff. I'm 104 miles from Dr. Doom's Fearfall. So we're going to try that. Now you can map it or you can check in um, as you see right here, it says I have check-ins left nine. That's to win like a coupon guidebook uh, that has $150 worth of savings inside. Um, you can see fun facts, height restrictions, and who it's best for, and what kind of elements the ride has. You can see who's recently checked in. As you can see, it looks like a lot of people are already using this application, including Attractions Magazine. And then you can see photos of the attraction as well. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like we can add photos, but it's pretty cool that you can look at photos. Now we're going to check in. You can enter a comment right up here and say whatever you want. And then you can share with Facebook and Twitter, or you can choose not to share. We're just going to choose not to share this time, and we're going to check in. Cool. My first check-in. And now it takes you back. You can navigate around the park. We'll go to Carousel next. And you can choose to map it. You can actually pull up and see a map of islands. And you can, like, tap the little pinkish silver dots. And you can go to it like Cat in a Hat. And you just click the little blue arrow. And it brings up the same thing. And you can do that for all the parks. The other cool thing is City Walk. Let's say we want to go to lunch somewhere. We'll go to City Walk's Rising Star. It gives you hours information, how much it is to get in, uh, your cover charge. You can also see photos here. Pretty basic stuff, you know. It doesn't look like we can reserve dining reservations on that. I know we can at Bob Marley, so we're going to look for that. There it is, Bob Marley. 
and we can reserve on open table it's kind of hard to see well it's not going to focus either uh, you can choose the date time and how many people are in your party and you can search for reservations and you can make your reservation that way it's easy and simple you can also call the restaurant you just click call and they'll bring up your phone application and you can call them and same thing you can check in on Facebook and Twitter you can also click here for the menu but it doesn't look like that's quite working yet you can also see about Universal and how to contact the park and other stuff. You can also, oh, well, maybe you can't click that. And then, of course, you have your account information. And that's pretty much the application. It's short, simple, and easy to use. Great app. Uh, and hopefully, we'll see wait times coming to it. That would be an amazing addition. Stay tuned for more updates.